welcome to Cultural Hours. I'm your host, Linda Powers. Today we are at a gallery opening, 220 West 16th Street, at the exhibit of Karen Gentile. There are a variety of still life paintings that are very colorful. Enjoy the show. Elia. Um, okay, and who's, uh, whose show is it? This is the show of my professor, Karen Gentile. She was uh, my, my teacher when I was a student at, at, at FIT. And she's the chairperson of the textile service department at FIT. Okay, and so this is, you said this is your favorite piece. A little bit about this piece, why do you like it? Like it doesn't show the 3D, the depth of a uh, realistic uh, object, like the table cloth is really flat. Everything like just stuck on that uh, piece of cloth. Uh huh. And here's some other pieces in the show. Yes. There's a lot of colors. Look at the kitty. You know, you know how much I love kitties. And what's your name? Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Are you enjoying the show? Very much so. Right next to you, there's a piece that has a red dot. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's sold. What do you think of it? I like the vivid colors. Uh, I love the quality of uh, the oil, the way it captures and reflects the light, and uh, the different shapes, the emphasis on shape. And, and Color. It's just very visually pleasing to, uh, to look at. I'm enjoying that. Yes, I agree. There's a lot of movement in this one with the zigzags and the curls and um, and the vibrant, uh, the blue and the uh, yellow add a lot of um, dimension to it. Mm -hmm. The diagonals. Yep. <laughs> Here she is. The lady of the evening. I'm enjoying your show, and I was just asking Elia how, um, what class she had with you at FIT, and it was in computers. And now to see you doing work in painting, it's great to see your range. And can you tell me a little bit about your show? Well, thank you for asking. Yes, I, um, these paintings are um, all this previous year's work, so I decided to focus solely on colorful uh, still lights, which is one of my favorite topics. And I noticed you have a nice technique how you uh, scraped the outline of a lot of the um, the contour, I guess, of a lot of the shapes. That was interesting. It gets, gives it a little reflection at the edge. I love, I love to scrape back into the shape. It's one of my favorite things to do. So when you plan your still life, do you have, um, does it happen spontaneously, the arrangement of the um, still life, or is it um, something you plan ahead of time because you love an object? or? How do you get your ideas? Because the fact that a single object can stir uh, up the, the, the whole range. And in many cases, the uh, arrangement doesn't really exist in real life, other than maybe one or two of the objects are the painting, the rest is from my imagination, because they, it, the painting kind of reveals itself to me as I'm painting it. I find it fascinating that I'm looking at a blank canvas and I don't have any idea sometimes what it is I was about to do, and the next thing you know, I'm in the throes of it, and I'm completely absorbed, and it just, and it just develops. You know, it's like a magic act. And then when do you say to yourself, okay, I'm done? It's um, over. It's, it's done. It's always tricky. It's always <laughs> tricky. Sometimes I'll walk away from the work uh, because I, I'm not sure. If I, if I get that feeling, I'm not sure. I'll walk away from it and let it sit and then take another look, maybe you know, another day even. Uh, so how long does did, did it take you to finish this, this piece, all these pieces, this this exhibit? How many these, these years, a month? all from this year, just okay. this current year. And uh, uh, this is my fourth solo show here in this gallery. Mm -hmm. So, Well, congratulations. It's a beautiful show. And I see you were making some sales here. Congratulations. And um, So whose gallery is it? The, the gallery owner is Miguel Herrera. And he's a wonderful artist himself and a poet. Hi, Miguel. I'm Linda Powers. And she is actually... Nice to meet you. You are the owner of the gallery and also a fabulous artist himself. Can we do it in French? Sure. Uh, I don't know much French. I know un petit peu, but um, yes, do it in French. Why not? I was just asking about your gallery. I, I, um, it's my first time here, and the show looks lovely. And a nice, intimate location and place here. I like it. So, um, how long have you been here? 
And in this paper, 21 years, it was my work to up someday. Actually, Miguel is putting up a show of his own uh, thousand small drawings he's going to put up in September yeah. and they're all going to just be pinned to the wall. We're going to make sure you get an invitation. Oh, I'd like to meet you both. Thank you.